Welcome again to the SpinCast Cycling Show. I'm your host, Brian Kellison, Lisa Reese, Brian White. Uh, Casey is off this week. Self-decision. Self-decision. His, his own decision, I guess? That's a... I, I just came up with that term. Self-decision. Hey, free, he has free will. He has free will, as, as we know. Free will is such a big topic. Uh, lots of things to talk about. We're going to dip into... Uh, Zwift racing score, uh, Zwift participation, also some MyWoosh stuff, uh, and then whatever sort of comes throughout the discussion. But uh, I had a good training week uh, doing my system, checking out the new MyWoosh stuff, uh, and then what was the other thing? I Bike Terra. That's right. I, was, I yeah. fired up Bike Terra, which I hadn't done in a while, and it is... It's looks the same. It's not sort of much those, it's more like under the hood improvements and they have a lot more, I think they have, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, whoever's listening to this or uh, watching it, there's now, uh, like the magic road sort of thing where you can have group attended events. Like you can, you can load up your own thing and then people can join your group. Uh, so that's a new phase and sort of their adoption. Uh, but it's a more casual platform, which I kind of like. Uh, unlike the, we're going to get into the to the Zwift stuff uh, eventually about how casual it is now. But I want to do get an update on the MyWoosh. So it's been like a week and and change on the big update. Uh, and I know Casey did a bunch of stuff, and I rode just casually in there because uh, I was doing my training. Uh, and then Brian, you had some MyWoosh uh, yeah. stuff. Also, welcome back. Uh, Lisa Reese from camping, seeing bears and kayaking. So bears and fish and bears and fish and beers, seals and sea lions. Yeah, and <laughs> beer, <laughs> candy. Oh, good, good. So you're ready to get back. You're ready to get on my whoosh and get your oh, surf, get your skirt score up. It's awesome to relax, and it was a wonderful time. But yeah, I'm actually ready to go back to work tomorrow. Like I can't eat any more bad food like i was like enough is enough <laughs> like this is enough of this as i'm drinking a beer right now but yeah yeah that's funny that's good all right brian let's get the my whoosh update the weekend right, so the weekend of uh the 3.8 oh yeah um something that kellison and i figured out is if you do not do two sunday race clubs you can oh, yes. do the final one of the month um, which I did read that, and I said, hey, I don't think we can do it. Well, they confirmed it. Yeah, they said, hey, you didn't do two. So say like this month I had four weekends. So we had to do two of the previous three before today. Uh, so we didn't get to make up the Gruppetto. Yeah. Um, uh, there's... What's your category right now? What does it say on your... I am... I'm cat four. Okay, I'm, I'm cat, cat three. Four. I think I'm cat three. You're but I, I looked recently and when I was doing it, maybe I was on my, my stream, it said cat one. Maybe I haven't done one in a while and they put me back to cat one. Yes. And so um, they're going to like kick me back down once I, you know, suck. Yeah. So I'm just guessing your power is in the area of mine. I'm guessing you'll be a cat four as well. Uh, so I don't know what magic they use to determine the categories, but I can't see you right now at your current fitness being a cat three again. Um, you will get there because you're really training, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I so think it does, so it does, it does, it does fix it. It does it sort of float around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so this is a little side topic. If anyone listened in the drops, um, they had Matt, oh man, I can't, Smithson, I think is his last name. I can't remember his last name. His name is Matt. He's like the guru behind everything that we see in my wish. Um, and he said that all the, uh, basically it's just like Zwift, all your rides go into your power, your, your little, you know, profile. Okay. So let's say, I don't know, let's say Lucas, uh, Verslice comes down and he starts riding my trainer. They will know immediately, like, hey, this is not Brian White. This is someone else. If they're riding, he's riding my account. So if me they're double dipping. No, that, giving, so if if they're riding under your account. Yes. Okay. If they're logged okay. in under Brian White, they will know, hey, this isn't right for him. 
Um, so the double dipping aspect, like, giving why them is this all guy this so major, powerful now? Yeah. yeah, they 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 know. So that's that's kind of like another process, you know, or thought process behind me double dipping it. So they both I, have I, my platform, or both platforms have my all my rides. Right. So let me. If you are improving, see the thing, this is the secret sauce, which they probably won't share, is if you're improving, like I'm retraining, I'm getting, I'm building yeah. back up, and then I'll hit a peak. Do they know that that's my peak? Yeah. So did you just do a power passport test? I have not done one. I haven't done, it's been a while, probably a okay, year, so almost a I, year. I did mine um, June 29th, and my fitness, like on intervals, uh, ICU was like 30. Like okay. it was terrible. Uh, I, I think I had a, I don't know. It was like a three sixty five or something, three minute. And then my, um, 12 minute was like three thirty, round round about there. Well, I did two Sunday race clubs and then I did a, uh, UCI world qualifier. Well, then it was that next event I did. So it would have been the third S, uh, Sunday race club I did, I got an email Monday morning. Hey, we need you to redo your power passport test because you are exceeding your test numbers because my fitness had improved over those. Okay. Four, five, I, six weeks. I, th I don't know if we touched on this last time. So now I'm thinking, okay, I don't test well. Let's say I don't test yeah. well. So the power right. passport point test, the power passport test is our certain thing. I race, I do better. What is the plus minus? Well, the power passport me, toy, power passport yeah. test versus like an event that they're so, that they're gauging. Do you know? So let's just say you do a ten minute effort, at, or the twelve minute effort on the passport test, and you did, I don't know. Let's just say you did three sixty for twelve mm -hmm. minutes. All right. So then you know your fitness is progressing or whatever. And you test terrible, and then you do three ninety for twelve minutes. Then they're gonna be like, hey. We need you to redo that. And it may be like a 10% difference. Like, let's say your power passport test, you can do that 360. And then in a race, you do 370. That might be okay. I don't know the specific number for okay, me. So I, we just don't know. We're hoping yeah. that that's what it is. Right. Because okay. I'd had like a 35 watt, three minute increase and a 30 watt, 12 minute increase. So I, I, that's perfectly fine. I, you know, hey, that's good. Uh, because that eliminates, like, just say I was doing all my training on Swift, come race on air. Well, they need to, you need to be, you know, verified. Hey, I can do that effort and vice versa. Like just We're like right close now, enough Swift. to it. So let's say mentally, yes. you just don't, you don't test well. Like I don't, yeah. when I do FTP tests or, or other passport power passport tests, I'm mentally not as good. But when mm -hmm. it comes to a race and I'm chasing somebody, uh, there's this extra little incentive. I just hope that they know that like, hey, you do a good effort. They learn from that and they go, okay, you need to do a repass. You need to do another passport. Yeah. And I test it bad again. And they're like, no, you're not valid. It's like, you're because you're, you're testing a certain way, but you're racing a different way. That's where I'm like, yeah. the, the little intricacies need to be fine-tuned or explained to the athlete. Instead of just saying, oh, we don't believe you. It's like, right. we, we don't believe you because, you know, whatever. And then the athlete should have a, an ability to say, hey, I just don't test well. Like, I don't mentally yeah. want to test well. It's not that I, I, and physically, I physically probably could, but like. The mental I, aspect. Yeah. yeah, the mental aspect of it. Where so it was, was a, a recent post in, in the My Wish Facebook, very similar to what you're saying. Like, hey, I did this, but, you know, I'm not. Well, I, I can't remember exactly what he said, but it's very similar. And I don't remember who it was, but it was whether it was the My Wish account or like Matt himself or the Rodney said, hey, just race. You're fine. You, you go from there. You know what I mean? I can't remember the exact wording of the post and the response, but basically it's like, hey, just. <laughs> okay. Well, then there's another question I have. I have another question. I know we're beating this to, I like this though. This is, this is in-depth sort of discussion is. I do, let's say I do a power passport test. Okay, you're active for what do you have? I do my Sunday race club. Uh, I'm pinged or annulled and they're like, hey, you need to do, or not annulled. And you're just like what you had, which was, hey, we need you to do another test. 
yeah. I do another test and they're like, no, you can't, you're not real, whatever. So I can't do another race club. There's not enough racing events to do racing efforts or the races are different. How are they going to pull that data to go, Hey, just keep racing when you can't race because they won't let you race. Yeah. I understand what you said. Uh, I understand what you're saying. Like you're reading what Lee just wrote to some you, yeah, you yeah, just, sorry. side message yeah. or something about Brian's yeah. digging, a, digging a hole. No, he said annulled. It's the oh. drinking game. Yeah, yeah, oh, the drinking game. That's right. Yeah, sorry. I keep, yeah. I'll have a drink too. Coffee. Go ahead. But, uh, essentially it's if you, whatever numbers you put out, as long as it's, I'm assuming as long as it's in a range, because I think they understand that that they you may do better in a race because you're chasing that wheel like i'm not getting dropped in this climb or whatever so yeah, maybe yeah. you do whatever but if it's i don't know a 10 percent it's gotta variance, be it's gotta be easy. something close it's gotta be like yeah. a trainer difficult you know it's like hey because i'll watch i've watched zach near do power passport test i've watched barney even barney was in somebody's chat the other day james barnes everybody south south africa uh representative for i think for the worlds uh he He's like, ah, I tested well. I didn't test well. I didn't test well. Because that's the sort of thing. It's like you mentally have to dig deep mm -hmm. and bury yourself instead of just like doing a race where, yeah, you got to bury yourself and chase somebody. This is sort of like on you. And I hope that that data is cumulative in a sense where it knows, it starts to know you more and more. And I think that that's what Zwift is that's, or Zwift is doing. From the In the Drops interview, that's what it made me seem like. It was almost like they are building this around you. So okay, like, let's say your heart rate, I don't know, my max heart rate's like around 182 or something, but typically like if I'm high 170s, that's my high. Um, I, and I'll put it this way, like at the end of my 12 minutes, I was hitting my three minute power. You know what I mean? Or, or mm -hmm. not completely hitting it, but I was getting close to it. And it's, like I am not the VO2 punchy guy. Like I am the I will ride steady and make small increases. The threshold, like, the threshold tempo guy. Yeah. yeah. So I that that's my forte, which Sunday Race Club is far from best. But no. It, 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 and I think they, from what I'm guessing, and we can ask him if we can uh, get Matt on that. That's it. Understands your capability. Good. Yeah. You know? That's the thing is like, I, I think it, it, go ahead, Lee, go. I was going to say, it's kind of like with the Zwift racing score. I think it works better when they're taking all of the data because they see you're good and you're bad. You know, they yeah. might see that you just tootle around for 80% of the time, but maybe you sprinted one segment and they go, oh, mm -hmm. he actually does have that power. He did one sprint, you know, yeah. last week. You know, so because what will happen is if you just base it strictly on the test, they might go, well, you might not test well, and they're going to go, this is your strict box where your number yeah. should be in, and you didn't meet these numbers. Where so, if they're picking and choosing from all of your ride data, it yeah. gives them way more to look at, and you might not get annulled as much if you have all that data. Mm -hmm. and, and that being said, Zavarese, this is something that we ran into. I, we talked about it last week a little bit. The current mindset within Zwift, like my whoosh, the categories, it's mass start, except for a Sunday race club. And those are even like so thinly sliced apart. Who knows? Basically, it's just like an A race and go at it, boys. And, but the shift. And girls. And girls. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> uh, the. The shift from the 20 minute or even that full hour FTP test is disappearing. Like, like Zwift put in the grade. So people didn't have to do 20 minute tests. Uh, they got the ramp tests, which are very popular because they don't suck as bad. Now, that being said, when you look at Zwift power and you see, uh, I don't know my numbers off the top of my head for 20 minutes. That's like 340. Okay. I can do 340. That's what I've done in a Zwift. 20 minute effort 340 right now well i did an event the other day where i maybe have could have went when i was pushing the 350 360 i could have went those 20 minutes and you know increased that but i was working with casey and then someone <laughs> didn't like that 
And they're like, well, your 20 minute was this. That's obviously an A, blah, 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 blah. Well, we have to, Zwift produces the data on Zwift Power that gives you 20 minutes. So if people look at 20 minutes, well, that's not the full picture. So we have to get that out of that mindset. And I don't think we will. I think we may, as the serious racer, as the serious person who is looking at the data, data, but the 20 minute looking on Swift Power, like oh, this guy can do this. It's it's a little misleading right now because we are getting our FTs. It is it's a mentality yeah. that needs to change because yeah. we've had years now of uh, whatever going back and looking at someone's previous efforts. Right, like your race with Casey was. Uh, two teams versus each other. It wasn't, yeah, it, was it wasn't, ladder a, race. yeah, it was, it was the latter race. And so it was a strategy based on multiple people, but only two teams. So you had yeah. four people versus their five. I can't remember exactly what it was, but you guys had a strategy. He's trying to art the, the per, I have person in question here who will, will re, remain nameless is questioning your effort based on previous results, but the race is not the previous results. Like the late race style and the tactics yeah. are different. He's just going based on numbers, which is right. a bad, it's, it's essentially like, Oh, if they beat me, he's cheating. And, and it's, it's and more Casey of, and yeah. I have went through a, a, what year and a half. When, when did Zwift category enforcer come out? Is this coming up on two years in a fall? I think we have studied this thing and, and, and messed with numbers, looked at other people, like we've done ZRL races that have had a four, 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 five, and a four, six guy that didn't get upgraded. So, so the hard set four point two watt per kilogram or whatever the numbers may be are not like set in stone. You do this. I've actually done what would be considered a definite A effort by old terms. I did. I don't even know what it was. It was like three fifty some watts for thirty minutes. I got to an A. The next day, I did a VO2 effort for six minutes. Boom, right back down to B with Swift Cat Enforcement. Yeah. Uh, it makes no sense. There yeah. is no hard numbers. It's a free-floating thing. And I've seen, same with Casey. He's done a higher VO2 or a higher 12-minute number, and it goes down. So it's, it's, it's crazy to say nowadays, like, hey, you did this exact 4.2, you should be an A, or you did mm. 4.1. Whatever. It's not the way it is. Because I've if you if anyone here races European higher end categories, divisions, and ZRL, you cannot find a race in a B group in the higher divisions that don't have someone repeatedly going four four and staying in the B cat. So like Zwift Cat Enforcement, that that mindset of what it used to be, like the categories used to be, has to go out the window. Yeah, this yeah. race score. Uh, and I, I know we have a pulled up here for to talk about the race score. They've made some changes, and are right, you guys got to discuss it? Because I, I I have to take a break. Really, I'll be right back. Okay, emergency break. The the race score I think will be better moving forward, um, and, and the groupings I think need to be re, re, re tweaked. I don't know how everyone else feels, but some of these groupings at the higher end or like it's, it's a massive. And I know they made it to, I don't know the exact, uh, right. In their drops is also saying it's being updated. It, and I, those specifics, I think I had it somewhere. I don't remember. You know what I do like is you can actually see this on Zwift.com. You don't have oh, yeah. to go to Zwift power. It's about darn time. I had the I had it open, but I'd save. I'll have to go find it real quick. But yes, they are changing how it's. Uh, and, well, six 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 fifty to one thousand. That is a large group. Yeah, yeah. The decay. I've I've been decayed. I haven't ridden on Zwift in so long that I have no fitness signature anymore. So I am out. So it'll be interesting when the season starts and I actually do get back on the trainer where it slots me in because I'm at zero right now. I don't exist according to Zwift racing score. 
man. I closed that and I can't find it. It's not even in history. It's like it's like I disappeared. What's interesting what? is I think you're gonna have people like this guy who's got a 918 score. Things are gonna level off for him. That's a very, very high score. Considering he's putting out 224 watts at 138 beats per minute. Seems very low. Uh, at a 4.07 watts per kg. Yeah. Yeah, the... Uh, I mean, I, I like the race score. Like, I do think it's going to be better. I think we need more people doing, actually doing them, because I see so many people in the companion app saying, oh, I just tried one. So hopefully as people come Well, they back, do need more because if you look, you know, between all the categories, we have what, six, four, yeah. seven, six, seven. It's not a lot of people, but right. this race was 3.10 p.m. on a Saturday. Oh, it says six, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, Easter, Sunday. Yeah. This was today. No, with, oh, I, sorry, different. Sorry, I'm back and I'm jumping in late. It's not a lot of people. Uh -uh. I think they need to, well, the problem is, do they put more races on? I would like to see more races. I would like to see, you know, three or four a day spread out, not the typical Zwift event calendar where it's every 15 minutes, there's like four races starting. Yeah. And it's, it, it's m more, this is testing. So it's beta or Zwift labs testing right? There's a stigma maybe that people just want to race in their category because that still exists. And then people don't understand this and they're trying to gather data. So it's a balance of like, okay, there's not enough people on right now because it's not really winter or fall late, like early fall or late, late summer. Uh, so like the numbers are down. So they're gathering numbers of people that are maybe wanted to race. Like, I don't know what the the end goal is to have it all racing score, but is it the end goal to have racing score and categories or just racing score? I still don't know I if that's clear. Honestly, I think they need to get rid of the categories and just do mass start. Everyone starts at the exact same time. You just need to do good. Like your goal is to place as high as you can within a mass start. What I would like to see as well is with the score change here, I would like to know where the person came from. Like this guy said, he's got a seven, he won. His score is 734 and it went up. Yeah. I know, well, a Michael Painter is a extremely good rider. He was with Co Coalition. He may still be when I was there. So he's a top level rider. Yeah. Um, so he could be riding outside. And just that's his seed score at that 730, because that would seem to be he would be higher. And and that's another thing that people don't understand the seed score. Oh, he's with next now. Okay. Yeah. So there's but, also there's also a question like like you're saying the seed score, but what is yeah. the what is the the goal for a racing score that puts you into a category instead of just having, oh, this is my fitness category. This is my like the way the categories work in real life racing, right? Is you have category, you have pro, you have one, two, three, four, and then now it's called novice, but it used to be five, at least in the United States. I don't know how it is in Canada or in the rest of the world, but you accumulate scoring from results. And in the United States, you don't sort of move up and down based on fitness. Like you're like, oh, I haven't raced in a couple of years. I'm a cat four again. It's like, no, I'm a cat two. And I'm sort of living in the cat two. If I want to go race, I have to race a cat one, two, three, four, or a, a cat one, two, three race. That's like a master's race. So is that, the, would that be a goal was like, is well, we're moving people into like the racing, what is it? The Zwift racing app scoring where like someone's a platinum or they're like in, in magic of gathering, there's mythic diamond, platinum, uh, gold, and then silver and bronze. Is that what we need? A racing well, score think, that gives you something to hold on to. That's like a category. Well, I think in general, Zwift wants everyone to have fun. Oh, and if yeah. they did 
the racing categories, like outside, the people in the lower categories would be constantly getting their butts kicked because you would have guys coming off of summer break, like who weren't riding indoor, who should be 800 racer score, working their way up and basically crushing everyone for the first five, six, ten races as they work their way up. Now, could you do a racer score like Cat, where once you reach Cat 1, you're in Cat 1? But I think the seeding thing is just to make it, you know, a generalized placement. You should be here based on your wattage. And like we were talking before with Casey and that, is your racing skill can make you sort of punch a little bit higher than your racing score compared with what your sort of seed score is. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's and weird. I, it's like, I hope that once the fall comes back here for the Northern hemisphere and more people come that we get, I don't know, eight groups per race and get them separated a little more. That makes it a little easier for like someone like me, like I uh, dilute the participation though. Well, well, why can't we well, race all together and score differently? Like, that's the thing is like, I think a larger field is more fun. And even though it's, even though it's the problem that you had with your sort of like calling yeah. you out, you guys, your ladder thing has any category the racing. Thing, with, there is no category. Yeah. Like, and that's like, the thing is there should be no category. It should be, of it. Yeah. it should be mass start because well, there's no, like there there's women's only races which I like, they, they should have that. They should have a master's only races, which would be nice be for the master's racers that are, you know, that are strong, like myself, this is a selfish thing here, is to be like, hey, I'd like to race against people that I know I can try to compete with, whether I finish wherever I finish, that's fine. But like getting smoked by like the 20 year olds that are like, you know, killing me and the 50 year olds that are killing me, like Scott Cunningham, it's, it's sort of like, it, what's the end goal still i'm still asking what's the end goal of this <laughs> fun so is it fun I, be, why, yeah being fun, fun why, and and why isn't the participation higher that's a good question well, I, okay so one, one my, race a day my perspective with mass start i like mass start because i can hang with the front group of the a's depending on the course for a good chunk of the race. Now, let's say you get Aunt Bev hopping in there. Hey, I'm going to try a race. Let's see what this is. And 30 seconds later, she's two minutes back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's a guy, that's going to be off putting. And as two we minutes back with, racing with the people that are two minutes back. Well, I guess it's like, okay, well, all these people are so far out in front of me. So if she doesn't understand racing, if she's just trying to, or, or it, then it's gonna be like, well, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I just got out of the water. That is yeah. a very big yeah, yeah. issue they don't, with the Zwift. They don't. Yeah. We'd explained this last week that they're like, this is the thing I've been asking for is uh, tutorials of like, hey, yeah. how do you race? Yeah. Like, hey, with it, we're so interested in racing, we want to be a part of the racing community, yet we don't tell anybody what racing really means because there's like a there's kind of a unwritten rule book that kind of helps guide people. That you can kind of say, hey, this is what you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I that's think what that's what needs to put on is some uh, race yeah, clinics. Clinic. Yeah, or another platform. Maybe my whoosh does it. Indy Velo does it. By Terra. I mean, who? Uh, crank up. Which I forgot the only to mention. Worst, my worst thing last that night. a Zwift start was an RGT start. That was terrible. I have to agree. That was one of the most terrible things ever, especially when your stuff doesn't work because you don't know if your stuff is working because oh. there was no like trainer. There was no like sitting in the pen and, and spinning. You could see your power numbers. So for anyone that doesn't know, RGT had no draft for the first 200 meters and it was just shot out of a cannon. Like you think Zwift was shot out of a cannon? <laughs> RGT stuff was shot out well, of a cannon. RGT, when the counter hit five seconds... Yeah. You started sprinting, 
and yeah. you tried to get over a thousand watts because as soon as it hit zero it was like dragster you were yeah, like, it was gone. like yeah it was like it was like a pinball you could just pull it back and let go of it you know it was really good for the people that could put out some serious high yeah. watts yeah i've done a lot of chasing after that to catch, to catch back onto the lead group luckily it was like the tuesday nighter where the uh what is it the uh participation was minimal so i could catch back on so all right well <laughs> yeah what happened to rgt i don't know oh. like almost almost a year you don't see it very much at all <laughs> i talk about it a lot i still care it's about it people are like huh yeah. oh i love it i still think it's the best physics i still think it's the best oh, physics. yes it i just With, as a bigger like, guy i just loved loved it yeah the the whole mass start thing and because they added those lower pace partners because the majority of people are in that lower echelon of of riding and like some of these c or like, i shouldn't say c but lower like what would be c cat and lower they've been more filled up than the higher ones so yeah that's my thing I too see, is... i can see why they have 650 and above in the loaded ones together more and then like if the regular cats if we do mass start and then we sort it afterwards that's very i can see 100 percent where it's very off-putting if you're chasing a ghost or if you're the two if you are racing those people with you at two minutes back but in your the psychological aspect is like i don't stand a chance to win i'll never you know i'll never make it to the front so like you're saying the education aspect if they do go to mass start will be very important Sco but race together scored separately and that yeah, needs it, to be the education well because that in initial, reality with the mass oh. start everyone is going to start everyone will self-seed because the people who are at zero, zero, zero to 300 race score, yeah. they're mm -hmm. not going to keep up with the 600. So they're going to either hold on as long as they can and fall off. And then the group is going to pick them up. So you should kind of settle in to people in your general score. It might take the first five, 10 kilometers for that to happen, but that should settle down. You should find a group. Yeah. But I mean, in yeah. reality, it's <clears throat> finish as high as you can. Yeah, yeah but you're, you, everyone races together, but the scoring is you're in the 300 to 415. Yeah, you're still trying to well, do as best as you can. Against, and you're only competing against the people from 300 to 415. Yes. And so and, but in if you one get the, way, there'd have to be a way to on the screen to separate. So you know who you're racing. Like, if, am I racing against the next cat up? Or am I race against me and Aunt Bev next to each other? You know what I mean? So there would have to be some delineation between numbers on the jerseys, they which they don't do, which I wish yeah. they would well, do for every event. I don't see Zwift doing, you know, like Cat One, Two, Three, Four. I know we do have the Z Racing kits, but the kits are such an important part of the game. If they neutralize the kits for like the teams. No, 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 not neutralize the kit. I'm putting a number on the back of the kit. Oh, just no. a straight number. Yeah, I like they do in this, like they do. Yes, like they do in their elite events. Like what, how come you can't populate a, a pin, like a number on the kit? How is that not a feature on every event? Because then you can pay attention to, oh, I'm racing against the 400s. Yeah. Like you're in the pin and you get to see everyone's number and it like kind of, ended. These are all game features that we all want or that nobody wants that I want because they're listening to the community and it's like, how do we not have pinned on numbers for the, for races when you ride around and do your, you know, your random stuff on Tempest Fugit or whatever it is, you don't have a pinned on number. It's only when you do an event mm -hmm. and they've, it goes away. It's a computer game. <laughs> I don't pin a number on when I'm in my garage. Let I, I'm going to raise my hand on that. Go ahead. We have one platform designed on a gaming, you know, an actual engine. And then yeah. we have one built on top of spaghetti. So the fact that in our minds that just slapping a number on the back is easy, Zwift would melt itself down trying to add right for but the 55 the, events to the day for the hour yes oh yeah but they the, would melt it no down. It, i don't think so i don't think you so. don't 
I think it's a cosmetic thing that you just a lot like placing it's part of the placing, right? You put in a starting number, like everyone gets a starting number, right? Or everyone has a unique ID or I don't know. Look, here's my argument. My argument is it exists because they've done it. It's not like I'm asking for something that doesn't exist. Oh, the chase race has had like multicolored jerseys. That's just a Jersey, but uh, put a number I, on I the want back. The one. You get yeah. to pick your own number. Yeah. See, the thing is they know how to do it with the, with the, with the, uh, uh, the Jersey design, but then you're like, Oh, I can't race in my kit. So like next racers that are sponsored by next and whatever, uh, whoever else is racing, they have to, they're doing an event whether it's casual or whatever, and they have to they have to change their kit. That's not good for the sponsorship. That's not good for the health of the sport. Put a number on the back, get it so that you can do it on every single event, and then you know who you're racing against. What about he, floating giant numbers with an arrow pointing at your head? Perfect. Do whatever you want to do. A big ride-on. Do the small <laughs> ride-ons. Get You know how they have the small little <laughs> thumbs? With numbers in they, them. Because they get in the way? Yeah. Do whatever you can do in the Zwift Grand Prix. Start yeah. releasing some of that stuff, so like the Damon's, draft, the draft marker. Start releasing so Dan, that stuff. Damon's comment: the big events had rider numbers, but probably yeah. took three months planning and a PC in someone's garage to do it manually probably. while the race was on. I don't yes. care how it's done. I'm just asking to do it. That's that's my that's my thing. Is if you're if 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 it's going to be racing as a big thing, find some ways to kind of. Because we want mass start, it's not that I'm for mass start. I'm not a, I'm not for mass start. When you have too many people, like you have a thousand people in this event, a mass start is not what we want. We want slices of like a hundred riders, another, you know, like all that stuff. But when you have 15 riders and you split it up between four categories and you have two people racing in one category and there's no one else around, it's not as enjoyable. So if we could group mass start, race separately score together but we have an easily indicated visual because they've tell they've told you you don't have to go to Zwift power to see who signed up you know because in the game it's telling you so you can just focus on that in the game that's what i want yes head nods no is that a thumbs up uh, i don't know i haven't raised no, this we, so long no i, I know, know but these are quality of life, quality of racing life. I feel like, yes, numbers would be, I you know, beneficial. <sighs> Can Zwift implement it? I don't care about that. Who knows? I'm just talking about it exists because I've seen it. I've been in a race where I think I had a number, which was the Zwift games. And I want it for across the board for every event. Not, 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 not fondos and all the other stuff, just races, races that have a finishing, uh, when you have the score and at the score at the end of the race shows you and your group category, not, of an- not the mass amount, not like the, the, oh, you're like 25th in the race. No, but you actually finished fourth because you're scoring, you're ranking. And that's what, what instead to- of like number, it's your race score on your Jersey in the game. Okay. So if you have the same race score, you know who you're racing against. Well, just try to think because like a ra- I understand race numbers. Like I've done real life crits or in cross, you know, cyclocross races where people have number plates, but to me racing a number plate doesn't mean Jack squat. I don't care if that guy's number 89 or one, one ten. but if it said no, seven, that's, three, that's, four, that's... But that's because you're letting your like people choose their numbers. It's like, oh, I'm a quarterback. I'm number fifteen. Well, no, no. like in well, in, in cyclocross the, racing, whoever won last year gets number plate number yeah, one. Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking. Yes, I understand. You, that's so the 600, 600, 650 and above. So if your if your race number is six fifty, guess what? Guess what ranking you are. If your race number is three hundred and below, guess what rank number you are. Yeah. If it was that's, based on racer score, you, that yeah. would be ideal because you could yeah. actually see where they were. Now be you're going to run that. out of numbers because the race scores. Like if you had, if you had whatever four hundred fifty, don't know. You, you might have multiple people that are four 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 race number, but you know who you're racing against. Yeah, because okay. you're four four five. Yeah, there you go. I mean, these are 
we're, we're, we're asking for something and we're coming up with a solution for it. Oh, can they implement it? Well, hey, that's on Zwift. I, prove it. Hey, they can change the cosmetic on a road. They can change the default uh, challenge for Everstein instead of a tour of California. They can do oh. things. They've done the number thing. Can they do this number thing that I want? Maybe nobody else wants it and it's never going to happen. That's fine. I approve the number. Okay. Numbers. Race together. Score separately. The, uh, oh, that's how the um, Nationals was. Yeah. All yeah. the Masters, yeah. all the age groupers raced together. I had to pay attention to who I was racing against. Yep. The I spent in yeah. RGT. But jumping in a random race that's a ranked race, a Zwift Labs whatever test event, I'm not going to go spend the time to find out who I'm racing against because it's just a random thing. This is a casual race, but it's meaningful in a sense that it's a race rank race. And in nationals, you had to and, watch out for Canadians and Americans and yes. yeah. who you were racing against. I'm not saying you have to do that for every race. That's stupid. That's stupid. Sure. I think it's something you need to do. You need to take the, the weight oh, off of the. If the, I could steer, I would have come third. I know. Hey. Hey, speaking of steering, Bike Terra has the, I think, the best steering. I think Bike Terra has the best steering right now. I did it yesterday. Bike Terra. I'm kind of in into the Bike Terra. Dude, man. they have Borrego Springs. Like oh, my God. They have Springs. <laughs> but it's so good. I'm in love. I actually thanked somebody on the Bike Terra Discord. I saw that. Like, I'm at like, that point, I had you muted, and I was listening to In the Drops, but I still had you up on the split screen. And... uh I was like, oh my God, Kellison found Borrego. I'm so in love. He Borrego. Was, I, I could just, I, without anything on stream, I knew you were stoked. You were like oh, in yeah. heaven. I knew it. Every time I finished a, oh. an RGT race, I would just go to Borrego. Oh, I loved riding around Borrego. Oh man. That I've was seen jam. probably uh, hundreds of hours <gasps> of Brian noodling in Borrego. Oh yeah. Because his streams, your streams used to be like, two I'd and a like, half three yeah. hours and they were most you do a race and then you would just noodle for two hours yeah yeah the good old days i love it I, I still love it it's not there anymore i remember playing i remember doing like uh before steering was involved i would just mess around with the the pay there was a there was like three pay spots and then three race spots and i would just work like work, how to work around the, the the group, how to pull people, how to string people along, to have the bots kind of chase me, and then it would it would speed up the pace bots because the race bots would chase and get on my back wheel, and I would stretch it out. That's what I that, see. That's the thing is is I've brought this up uh, before, like doing the stuff in uh, games that have bots. So like my whoosh and Indie Velo. Uh, I don't know if I can do it in Bike Terra. I was doing a little bit in Bike Terra. Like I would go to the front and then I would steer out and into the draft. Oh, Bike Terra has a draft indicator as well, everybody. This is a browser based game. You can see the dr draft savings, which is what only did we learn last weeks. night. If it's flat and you have a ton of draft, there's no resistance on your trainer. Yeah. It's like super chill in the back, which is totally wrong, but it's great for noodling. But I was, I was moving out of the draft. And I would slow down and then I would fall back. And then it would, then I would go to the back of the group of like four or five riders. These are bots and then, or excuse me, bike Terra people. Then I would get in the back, into the back into the draft and I would sort of keep my speed going or whatever. And I would get back up to the front and it's like, that's fun. It's tough. You can't do that in, in Zwift. You can, I don't know. I think you can do that in my whoosh, but it's hard to do. Because there's so, there are pay spots. There's no race spots. Race spots are are like Indie Velo has race spots, but I don't know if you can do race. They're not like there's no course where it's like maybe there is around the around the island. Brian might know. Isn't around the island? There's like it's just flat, and so you can kind yep. of like you can kind of just ride and and work with the bots. Or is it just group? Are there just random bots riding around? I, I was half listening. You're talking about my oh, yeah. whoosh? No, Indie Velo. Sorry. Indie Velo, yes. Okay, so there is the coastal 
loop, which yeah, is the outside the 16. Yeah. Or in, uh, yeah, I don't know which bot. It might not be the speed bot. The faster ones go up the mountains and stuff. So it might be like a Coco style bot around the outside. Yeah. So that's the thing is, is you have some ability to do bot manipulation in Indie Velo, my whoosh a little bit. Like Zwift, there's no bots. Like you can't manipulate the bots a, a lot. Maybe the pace bots, you can kind of go to the front. Like I used to do that. I used to get in front of some of the bots that didn't have that many people around them. And I would just try to stay in the front and push the pace and see if I could speed up the bot. There's no real, going back to the, to like the racing tutorials, there's no sort of like way for people to practice or learn what, what racing tactics would be. You have to kind of do that with real people. And a lot of people don't want to do that because of the sweat equity we have to put in. We don't want to spend time, you know, wasting a, a session, uh, not doing, uh, a workout or efforts. Yes? No? No, I understand what you're saying. We got any questions from the audience? We're, we're getting to the hour. The uh, something too, uh, with, within, because Indie Velo, uh, my whoosh, the bike choice and frames don't really make anything. Well, we just had a new bike released, the Pinarello, which is like the best all around bike now. At what point are they going to have to reset the bike speeds and so the new bikes can be faster? Because before long, you're going to get to like even further beyond what is uh, anything close to being real life speed. Dude, so like it's, we, it's too late in the stream to bring up bike choice. Yeah, no, I'm going to get I'm going to oh. I'm going to squash this really quick. Well, bike choice is a scam. I, we know I, bike choice is a scam. Uh, is it, I could go on. Is, is it still a, is it still oh, a scam? And I just thought of this. If anyone's listening or whoever's listening, future, present, past, uh who has won a race because they had made the right bike choice? Like how many people are like, "Hey man, I won because I chose the S-Works Venge." Or I won because of the Tron in bike. ZRL, in I got the fastest on the Temple Climb because ZRL scored you for like first, second, third. There was fastest segments because I switched. I had a I had the steamroller and I switched to the um, yeah. gravel bike specifically to attempt to do the FTS on that segment for team points. Okay. Aside from, race, a, aside from but, a segment, oh. a seg aside from a segment speed, like a scratch race, who has won a scratch race because they made the right bike choice? Like who no is one. like, who no. is in there? Like, man, like Zw what is it? Zwift uh, apologists on the Facebook, the yeah. Zwift apologist Facebook group. Like, dude, I just chose the right bike and I had the right wheels and I won. Who, like, how many people have said I, that? No one. No one like well, ho Holly as long as draft is it. involved. All right, let's hear it. Yeah. Let's hear it. So, so as long, sorry, go ahead. I, right. Zavaris is on it. And, and Holly, I spent a month riding around <laughs> with a guy called Force science who was paired to the ant plus side of my kicker. Same thing. I was riding the Zwift or I'm sorry. He was riding Zwift they. carbon with 32 millimeter wheels, whatever basic bike, level three, whatever. And that little guy, no matter what I did, steering was the biggest disadvantage he got. I did a breakaway. That little bastard stayed in my wheel the entire time. <laughs> I did a sprint. That guy stayed right in my wheel. It did not matter. And I even had, for science, three seconds off. But because of the draft, he got right up in my wheel, and we went right to the finish, blew everyone away. If you have the draft, the bike choice is negated so much. Now, I will say, maybe at the elite side, those little things might make a difference. But in 99% of your Zwift racing with a draft, there is almost no difference. And I've, like, I was, like the climbing route, I've done the basic it makes a, bike. It, it makes a difference in non-drafted yeah. testing. 
of the bikes. Yeah. Yes. Non like that's <laughs> all the everything is based off of. No draft, <laughs> 300 watts. Yeah, yeah. I, I have and I and I'm a big dumb animal. I was lazy and did not download my videos from Twitch. So I'm going to you have to do it again. If we're going to rename for science. It's going to become Aunt Bev. So Aunt nice. Bev is right, going to be a perfect. demon here coming up, and we're going to do some more, more testing. So I have proof, video proof. Zavaris did the same thing. Buffalo bike on Texas Versus Cuban Venge. doing the same oh, yeah, yeah. workout <laughs> with the Venge, and he was what two minutes faster on the Buffalo bike because of draft. Yeah. Well, Holly's got in the right direction. So basically, if there's if you're in a race and there's draft bike choice doesn't make a difference but when you look at the fastest bike to the yeah. slowest bike on the flats the gap is this big on something like the alp the fastest to slowest bike there actually is a decent difference so yeah. ideally the best bike choice in a race would be the fastest climbing bike because as long as you're in the draft it has no bearing mm -hmm. because you're in the draft but on a climb if you get draft and a climb, the lightest bike will do better. But yeah. doing better means like we're talking like 40 seconds up an Alp. Like in an actual okay. Zwift race, the climbing is going right. to be like how minutes. many people, how many people are choosing the worst bike that are better? Buffalo bike no, no, no. all the time um, now. But like most people are picking the top three bikes or the top 10 bikes. And what's the difference of that? Maybe a second, two seconds. Right. So it's like, okay. Uh, yeah. People, and the game is not the breakaway game. Last time I checked on the elite racing, it's not the breakaway game. It's the brunch sprint game, unless it's a climb, then it's a yeah. climb. And you know if what you're doing. There were breakaways. But yeah. Like, I, I'm, I'm sure there's the Zwift hero that is doing the ZRL every week going, oh man, I picked the, I picked the S Works Venge with the disc wheels. And that, that got me the points for the team. I'm sure that that's what they're thinking. I don't know that that's the reason why. I think that they just went hard, and that's what Did, happened. Didn't you compete in something like elite level with the Cannondale or whatever yeah. it is? I raced the Cannondale. Giant live bike. Yeah, I won, a, I won a casual race with a live bike. The woman's live bike, I won the race. But see, the thing, too, is Zwift Insider, all their bike speed testing is all done at elite level speeds so the differences that he posts on the website are even way less for the average joe mm -hmm. and i do agree two seconds is all it takes to win a race but if you're sitting in the draft you're not gonna be like damn it i need to like yeah you know go I, two seconds faster i still but, race with the cannondale that's what i race with out of principle if i lose i lose man i suck yeah. already why do Oh, I need to have the best bike? No, I'd rather just have the bike that I want to use. Just yeah, to prove like a point. exactly. All the races that do matter, the bikes are neutral. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think the Zwift Games bikes were neutral. Nationals. Yeah, they were. You could yeah, run, national, you could pick, yeah, Nationals were you neutral. You could pick whatever bike you wanted, but on the back end, yeah. Nationals well, zeroed yeah. out all the bikes. If the bikes matter that much, why are we neutralizing them in like the most prestige races because they don't matter really they don't matter <laughs> yeah so that that's that's my because they don't want to hear complaints that's why put so much effort into bike choice and like in a draft literally it doesn't matter now we did a race i did pick the scott oh it was in new york city because holly had mentioned it somewhere through there about climbing i picked the scott in the nv 7.8s because the hardest part of that is that stupid KOM. It was mm -hmm. one of the latter races. So uh, that that aspect of it, yeah. So if you are in the, there was another, I know it was Dave Kowalski from Coalition. I can't remember the name. I think it's Zwift Analysis Network. He did a video on that same exact thing because me and him had a conversation about, about it. Bike choice isn't what you think, when, especially if people look at that Zwift or bike app which I tested that too. And that's the times oh, aren't worry. exactly right. Cause I tested it without draft in with draft. Um, the, he, uh, but he basically, he was like, if you've got a climb of anything, you have to choose the bike that'll be because the draft doesn't matter. Like you need the bike for the hardest section. So that is accurate. Like there on a climb, it might make a difference, but it really doesn't. 
it, in my testing and I what what, what how, how much did I ride with for science it was like 400 it was more than that 700 kilometers right I we're, rode with that guy we're, we're saying double, it double, makes triple dipping of, of course it makes yeah. a difference it makes a difference but it's not that significant where you're like yeah, no. oh hey post race analysis a hey, I picked the right bike and on my and my gear is awesome no it was I went really hard or I did this tactic and I broke away and I got the thing or, you know, I waited on this one wheel and then I won. It wasn't like, like you, oh man, I picked the right you, bike. Yeah. Like if you wheels. sat in the group <laughs> and sprinted for the win, the bike made no difference. It, yeah. Like it, the, it, the 500, the three, 400 meter sprint you do, the bike difference is like 0. 000 000 000 000 0.000000001 seconds faster. Yeah, that and Holly's right. It's the placebo effect. If I think oh, I have totally, the fastest, yes, like I'm going to be the oh, yeah. fastest. Totally, that is totally. That race, I raced for a, several months, probably May, June, and July. See, all in that, I did it myself after for science. Yeah. It's the count, you know, the month. See, if you it, race on the buffalo bike, it's a mental thing yeah. because all your competition is like, why can't I drop this guy? Bike choice matters. I should be like kicking this mm -hmm. guy's butt, but he's still holding my wheel with the buffalo bike. And then they're like, they get demoralized and you yeah. sprint for eighth. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I love that. I love getting people wrought up on the different forums and stuff in Facebook and Zwift Insider post because it gets people super riled up. Oh yeah. man, they, they come at your heart. They come at your heart. And I and I've tested it, but I'm an idiot and didn't save the videos. I'm I cannot believe I did. I went back through Yeah, 14 I, days. Yeah. Fine. Why are you only level 29, my whoosh? Because he's not a double dipper. I I am doing it the hard way. How about the hard that? way. Well, I should just <laughs> let you catch up to me then. Yeah. I don't yeah. think so, Lee's, Lee's ridden what? Oh no, you've ridden zero. 100, 100, no, 600. 100 meters or something like that. Yeah. As I saw Casey, it's like a million XP to level up at a level 128 or something. It's enormous. So, like, if, if whether you, like, so Casey's at level 128, I think Scott's, I forget what level he is, 101 or something. Like, to, once you get to that point, yeah you're going to have to do some serious work to progress through those levels. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hard way about double dipping. That's it. That's it. Yeah. hundred percent. Exactly. All right. Oh, we're, are we still yeah. going or are we done? We done with this, uh, uh this sh shortened show. I've, you got any I more got stuff? It. I've got it. No, okay. no, the Zwift world series is starting up, uh, next week. Um, oh, predictions, predictions, 29th? predictions for the next update. That's what I wanted to talk about. I know oh. there's, there's some people in our audience don't like us talking about Zwift, which is fine. Uh, I don't mind not talking about Zwift, but I have predictions on the HUD will be released. September 4th, September 4th. I, there's a screenshot I, I posted on our discord. Yeah. But the, the next update will be that Tuesday, right? So Tuesday, uh, Tuesday will be the Monday, Tuesday, whatever the Tuesday fourth is. The third. Tuesday's the third. So that, that Zwift, yeah. the Zwift HUD will be, will should be released, right? Because yeah, they, so that's late summer, late summer. That is about time. <laughs> about. <Yeah. laughs> it's I about hope. time if they make it like my whoosh, like no, right behind everyone's going to hate it. See everyone's how this, hate it. You, you can change, you can make stuff disappear. If they make it like that and you can move stuff and everything. I like the my whoosh HUD. I think the my whoosh HUD is nice. I, that's what people want. Because like the rider nearby list is gone here because I wanted a more clean looking video. You know what I, I really like about the my whoosh is one, you can push, you can click certain things to get out of there, but like the Watts are not the main focus. I mean, they're, they're, they're the same size font, the, whatever font size as like your time and your heart rate and your uh, cadence and everything, but it's not like the main focus. And up at the top is, is showing you the, uh, for people that not the non-visual audience, so behind Brian, I don't know if Lee can put up a full page of the the HUD. Uh, it's showing the distance available. No, you can't shake your head. That's fine. Where the font size is skinny enough and big enough where you can see it, but it's not the main focus. And so you're just racing on visuals of the avatar. That's what I like, and. 
hopefully they've fixed that more and more the more they put out uh fixes on that and i know that you and brian you and casey have have ridden my whoosh a lot uh and you feel that that the uh the draft is sort of getting better i don't know if it's 100 percent better but maybe it's better. okay so there's a big difference between the draft the physics and the power delay the power delay is fixed okay. it's phenomenal i think the physics are pretty good um and Casey will not like to hear this, but Matt in the end of drops uh, interview said that he wants the draft smaller for racing. So I, okay. I have, I have not done any races, actual races on my whoosh since the power delay has gone. I've been focusing on the training. And then when I go to do a race, it's like, well, if I jump in this, I don't know if it's going to be there. So I just have it. And I haven't been able to make the classics uh, yet. But so he, so he said he wants the, this is the representative from my whoosh. He wants the draft smaller because people in races will be more arrow in a sense. I, or he didn't expand on it. I remember his exact wording, but it was like, he wants the draft, I guess, bubble to be a little bit smaller. So you have to work harder to stay on that wheel. So that's, that's something that okay. I would like to, for him to elaborate on at some point. Uh, I'm going to message him tonight yeah. to see if we can, Line that, makes, up. that makes kind of sense. I mean, if you string the group out, if you get 15 feet off the back of someone else, you're going to drop off. Yeah, and you're in your side-to-side -side draft. Because that was the one thing about Zwift, and I think, I think my whoosh, where you're kind of, if you're off, if you're not completely in line, you're getting a draft benefit. And then we're only basing this on, maybe this happens in Zwift as well, but they don't show any draft indication. So in my whoosh, the, gr the, the green numbers. So in your watt, it'll, it'll flash green when you're in the draft. Same with my whoosh, it would, or excuse me, RGT. And Andy Velo, give Andy Velo, they have a little draft indicator. So when you go to the side, but even still behind a rider, just a little bit off to the left or right, you're going to still get it. You're going to get a little bit of a draft benefit, but it's not as good as being right behind that wheel. And the further you get off, uh, you're going to get less draft. Now that, that sort of off to the left or the right is what you're, what we're speculating on is what he said is he wants that more narrow or he wants less draft total for riders. So if you, if you, if you were, if you are sitting behind somebody you're still getting the same draft you would in like a casual ride or whatever, but the left to right draft savings is narrower. Is that what you're saying, Brian? Is that what he was kind of indicating? Okay, so he is talking about adjusting the draft for racing. I didn't specify that. About making a smaller, I'm like just like you're saying, lane, the like a lane, like a lane yeah. behind, it's like a lane behind the rider. He's going to be smaller in racing and then a little bit wider in the community events that's the way i was understanding him okay. that's a cool tactic i i could only see that being beneficial frustrating at first but then becoming a strategy to go hey i need to really be on this guy's wheel or this person's wheel the uh yeah so i think the actual physics of the world riding around is much more realistic after i think i've done Last month, a thousand kilometers. And the, response, and the response from going up and down the hill, that's all been solved. Well, so like resistance. The, and the resistance the, aspect, yes. All that, yes. Yeah. The, the delay is you know, crazy. But well, you, there's no delay. Yeah, yeah, the delay. Yeah, no delay. But the yeah. avatar getting up and out of the saddle, the cadence, all that, that's still weird. So hopefully Yeah, if, if you've that. been watching this little guy above me, I'm doing zone two this entire ride, somewhere between 200 and 200, 240 watts. He's been out of the saddle for like half the ride. Like yeah. that's frustrating. And when you're descending at 70 kilometers an hour on the uh, hood or whatever, on the bars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It. yeah. It drives me nuts. That's that's but, just visual animation. We don't know if that is affecting other yeah, things. Yeah, I don't think it's affecting anything, but no. it's just the visual aspect of it. But like, I, like riding in my whoosh, it seems fairly accurate to outdoor speeds. Like I'm kind of kind of impressed because I want to do a, I don't know if there's a way you, you compare it, like a flat route, like in Belgium, 
and then yeah. like no draft um like basically just disconnect well, the internet from zwift and, and bev needs to and show Steve. up in my whoosh and sort of compare yeah. and contrast because you're gonna have to have because this is a question too is because now the season pass that's a week out some you i don't know if you finished it or if Kay, casey finished it maybe or scott cunningham finished it uh, scott and me have finished it or the two yeah, yeah. Know. so you have a new bike there are bike benefits there's a there's aero score and there's speed is there speed and aero score i that's what that says but it's all bs uh it matt is all BS. Stevenson, matt He's... stevenson himself or not stevenson but man i gotta learn his last name matt said from my whoosh said that it's just basically cosmetic there's a neg negligible difference if any okay so, so yeah it's it's all cosmetics within so that bike kit all the gear is all cosmetic, pretty much. Yeah, from, from Matt Smithson. Matt Smithson. Smithson. So, yeah. Okay. He, he said, uh, he replied to a Facebook comment, said, because someone asked that exact thing, if I'm getting this, am I getting a benefit for the season pass? And he's like, no, basically, it's just okay. it's cosmetic. So, I assume that don't matter what you're riding on my whoosh it's just what you choose like so i'm not a fan of that but <laughs> i like I, I like that, have, that bikes have their own sort of thing i understand why they don't do it because they're not a bike manufacturer and they don't want to get heat from all the bike manufacturers that might be in the game yeah. and then you know colnago is probably a big sponsor or is part of is part of the whole thing because the uae team uh so they like, well, why is a why is a bike faster than our bike? Yeah. I can understand the politics behind it, but I like the what Lee and I and you and I have talked about is, you know, getting better with stuff. Adding that is to, is sort of the game part of it, where like, hey, I'm getting better technically, or yeah. tactically, but I also have a better bike. So the bike cho bike choice does matter, even though we say it's a scam in Zwift and it's a scam or it's not a scam, but they they've clearly said it's not. Uh, beneficial career mode having better bikes working towards being better getting faster so you can get the little bit of gains i think that's cool for gaming it's like yeah it's like having legendary weapons in world of warcraft or stuff like yeah. that you know it's like and, hey, stuff is better you know yeah like i haven't played too many games recently but it's um if you do pay the eight dollars every few months or ten bucks however but whatever currency it uh, shakes out to. And you do get a little bit faster bike. I mean, you can complain about it, but I'm sure there are other video games that you can buy something that gives you a little discount or that you just play a free version and you know that you're a little bit of a lesser, you know, you don't have that advantage. It don't matter to me. It's, one a, delicate, way or the other. it's a delicate dance that, that yeah. game game developers have to do. Lee, you might be very muted. delicate. Yeah, yeah. So it's like Lee plays is a he and his wife are big War of the Warcraft people, and so you can buy like the new expansion, which is probably the new one's coming out. And it's like, hey, you can get a bundle tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm I'm up and up on the yeah, World of Warcraft stuff, but you, I don't know if you can get bundles where it gives you legendary items that are beneficial, or is it more cosmetic? No, it's mostly cosmetic. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, I mean, it's such a difficult situation in Zwift because like I say Zwift spends a lot of time trying to make things fair and the whole bike choice thing ultimately comes down to fairness that's why there's not a lot of difference between them I mean I personally would love to see massive difference because it's a game like if you put the time and effort in you should be rewarded by a piece of well, equipment I think that yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I think the disservice is, is Zwift Insider doing it for everybody. It's real. Like, pe people yes. should people should have to figure out which bike I... they want to use because it's like the 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 like in the real life thing is like the Trek versus the Cervelo versus the Colnago versus the that's all hidden and nobody really knows. So you're like, oh, it's faster, and they claim it's faster, like the Cannondale whatever. Like, Lab I want to see. It's like. When you know, world. like, oh, I'm going to pick the fastest bike because it's not, you don't have to spend 10 grand yeah. or 15 oh, yeah. grand to get a bike. You're just buying it in game. I want to see like the World Tour Pro that's level 10 in Zwift have <laughs> to work harder 
to not <laughs> win the world champ because he's on the slower bike. You know, someone like James Barnes, who's been racing forever, he's level bajillion. He should have a bike that's two minutes faster. Sweat equity. You know, because otherwise, why do we even have a race? It's just an FTP test. Like you could just go, you win second, third, you're fourth based on FTP. Like there's got to be some sort of gaming aspect to it. Neutralizing the bikes is like baloney. You know, when you really get into it, I want to see it full on game gamified. Well, so you're, there's some they're, other they're never going to get the UCI thing back. Oh gosh, no. That. And that's the that's what I mean. It's a delicate balance because there's no sort of winning. The way they're doing well, is, is is fairness. Yeah. Yeah, bajillion. They, they should have the Zwift. They should have the Zwift games be well, that crazy. He's only a hundred, but if the levels went yeah, past hundred, yeah, on my Wu, she'd be a level hundred and forty. That's that's a joke. I don't know it's what just, it would be. It annoyed me in previous World Championships that <laughs> there was guys doing very well that. Uh, had zero experience in Zwift and they just like powered through and then like won. Like, cause that takes away from the community of guys mm -hmm. who do race, who are known as esports racers. You know, it's like, oh, look, I'm a fast dude outside. I can just show up and win in Zwift. Like, there's got to be some, you know, balance to that. How That's they balance should be two it? different, I don't two know. different, it's like two different sports. There's the, game version of the game the what is it the repack ridge whatever the hell they call it, that stupid conveyor belt game uh that should be that should be an, an event where it's like you you have to get good at this where it's not it's more skill of maybe using yeah. the swift plays to get you the benefit and if you're good at that you get a benefit you get a, like a two minute start on the regular like ftp test and then you, if you're like, you're really good at your FTP test, like if you're almost there, you're like, you're almost a, a pro tour level pro, right? But you can use your Zwift plays because you do spend time doing the game part. That's a benefit. That would be like a Zwift game, sort of like, you know, decathlon sort of thing. Barney's only level 88. Is that right? Uh, I just looked it up on companion app. I, you, I'm honestly dude needs to ride more. That's yeah. way off of bajillion. Yeah, eighty-eight super I, low. Well, the, the thing is, he's probably got like a hundred or one point five million XP overall, but he was capped at level sixty. Yeah, that's that's probably. Well, yeah, that's because <laughs> yeah. if you look at how many kilometers he's ridden, he's probably got like seventy thousand kilometers. I have it pulled up. Yeah. So, because oh, XP isn't doesn't mean anything. No, not once anymore. you get once you get to the point where it's like, oh yeah, so like James probably because i he does a lot of workouts and he's training for stuff yeah there's no sort of like hey i'm just going to do this casual race he's not a casual race dude he's a structured train yeah. i'm only going to do what i'm going to do but he does it on zwift so that's why he does get levels when he does his stuff but he's not focused on you know climbing the alp for no reason so let, let's take a quick poll real quick james barn who's our favorite uh in this one. verified at James Barnes, I saw his check mark. Yeah, he got a check mark. He got the check mark. So He's verified, no one look finally. it. No one look it up. Take a guess. How many kilometers do you think James Barnes has on uh, Zwift? This this shocks me. I won't say it's a good or bad, but it shocks me. Seventy five thousand. Seventy five thousand kilometers. Yeah, I want to wait for. Uh, survey chat for a like don't, don't don't give chat an opportunity just the people I, on the show just, listen they have the <laughs> internet to look up well i hope they well I, i'm that's the oh, honor system this is just a uh spur of the moment there smith all right somebody's taking a shower all right so we can hear it <laughs> james barnes who we love he's he's fantastic barney nz barney nz I am blown away. He only has 48,000 kilometers on Zwift. That yeah. is very surprising. I honest, figured that makes sense because really he works yeah. out and yeah. he races. Like and he's it. not, 
in Zwift streaming every day to, you know, noodling no. around. Yeah. It's racing He's workouts no miles. done. Nope. So that is like 48,000 hardcore kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. That's an elite level 48,000 kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. That's a serious. <laughs> That's very focused, 48,000, 45,000. So, all right. Is that it? That's it. I think we're done. Brian's chatting away with somebody. He's, <laughs> he's, he's doing his uh, calculations. How many do I have? What's, guess, I let's guess me. Let me, see if I, let me see if I can guess mine. I have 38,000 kilometers, 38,000 no. kilometers. 38, yeah. you're like a, no, you're way above that. No, 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 no. I think someone's in the 60s. I believe that's Brian. Someone is that 68,000 or yeah. something like that? Who wants to guess yeah, what I have? Oh my Casey, goodness, I Casey is like 72,000 or somewhere around there. No, Casey is over 100,000. Where do I look what? this up? Don't they look this up on my phone? The, the companion app? I'm struggling to find Holly. <laughs> All right, what's 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 your guess oh, for me? Her. What's your guess for me? <laughs> you wrote said, so much RGT, you're probably like forty thousand K. Thirty-nine thousand four hundred and thirty-five. Well, you're almost tied with Fez. You oh, guys are like crazy. holy crap. No double dipping. Are... No double dipping. That's why. I didn't no, double like, dip when yeah, I, I didn't double dip. Double when I was on RGT, I was on RGT. I didn't double dip because I don't care. Yeah. And I don't Holly's care about getting my damn XP on this game. It's such a scam too, man. It's a scam because they don't come out with stuff all the time. The worlds are not... When was the last time we had a new world? 2022? In or Swift? 20, 2023, Scotland, right? Keep bringing up topics that's going to make this go on for another 45 minutes. Yeah. Five minutes. Yeah. We, can, we can squeeze <laughs> this in for five minutes. We squeeze this in for five minutes. So 2023, we had a world. Right, Scotland for world championships. Scotland. Then what was it before that? Was it Yorkshire. No, Yorkshire is like 2019. Oh, it's been around that long, hmm. dude. It was before the pandemic. It wasn't the pandemic. Oh no, the pandemic year was the Yorkshire, right? Oh, wait. When would? I don't know. I don't remember. How many? How many let's see. Here's a good question. How many worlds are there? like 12 i don't know exactly but there's like 12 yeah. worlds fan flats that's my favorite fan flats hey, richmond it's 2015 baby <laughs> yeah but that came out after the the richmond because usually they come out the year of the writ of the world championships but then uh they started coming out afterwards fan flats Oh, here we go. We just go to filter. All routes. All right. That's it. We're now we're now we're just struggling to find content. This is it. Wrap it up. What are you yeah. looking up? Last last. I'm trying last, to last. find the worlds. I'm struggling. Yeah. Well, what's the next world? Are we expanding or are we getting a new one? Ah, uh, I wish we'd expand France. Mercury, yeah. we've got to exp exp expand Mercury. Like, if they don't give us Mount Fuji, even though I may climb it once, come on. It's been sitting out there in a the distance. Oh, no, the idea, Brian, originally of every, the Tour de France femmes, they should be adding on to France. Every year, they should be adding like a stage or two. Yeah. How come Rotterdam wasn't on there? Didn't they start in the uh, Netherlands? Oh, yeah. The, the race started in the Netherlands this year. Because the Paris Olympics. So, on the easiest way I thought to find it would be on Zwift Hacks. It looks like there's 12 worlds. Uh, let's see if I'm going to miss any. Or there's missing any. You got Watopia, Richmond, London, New York, Innsbruck, uh, Bologna, Yorkshire, Crit City, the Curry Islands, France, Paris, Scotland. I don't think there's any other ones, are there? Nope. Yeah, so there's 12 worlds in Zwift. And there's literally one that I ride, <laughs> Watopia, <laughs> unless there's a race somewhere else. If they turned it off, they won't turn it off. But if they turned it off every every week and you had to ride other worlds, I'd, have... I'd hack it. I, I used to hack it before. I'd hack it again. Really? 
Oh yeah, I, I yeah, literally. Why? I brought one to. I I just don't like them. I like I like Wachovia. Apparently, I said Yorkshire like completely spot. wrong. Yorkshire, uh, it's very American of you. Yeah, hey, we're you guys are honestly lucky. I don't have the massive Kentucky Southern West Virginia draw to this. That would make it really yeah. funny. <laughs> yes, as I you, got the as you, as you take a swig of Mountain Dew. Yeah, I got the uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania kind of yeah accent. All right, that's it. That, we're done. We're we're struggling here at the end. <laughs> that's it. That's it. You guys, right. you keep extending this. I was ready to go twenty minutes ago. Yeah, well, we had the last little bit. That was pretty good. Lee, yeah. good to have you back. It's good to be back. Yeah. All right. Next week, Casey yeah. might be on next week. Oh, we don't know. We'll find out from Casey. He's sort of like a floating, floating host. But uh, <laughs> uh, this was good. I'm probably going to jump on my bike and do a post show ride. Like Tara Borrego. Whew, that sounds like fun. Sounds totally. like a lot of fun. No, I have a workout I have to do. So maybe bike Tara workout. Bike Tara in Trainer Road or System. System, right? System. system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, system. Oh, oh Peloton. Yeah. That's another thing we got to talk about next week. Next week. I'll, I'll see if I can get Sydney's insight into our, our uh, Peloton. Yeah, I think, I think they're leaning towards opening it up for other hardware, right? Don't they already open it up for other hardware or no? Like the software. Uh, the last I talked to her about it, it was just for Peloton. Now, if they open up the other... I don't know, I guess open it up. It might be taken some away from Zwift because Peloton's the name everyone knows. And yeah. somehow, somewhere, I don't know if it was a stream, one of you guys, somewhere, the users. <laughs> reckless speculation. What if yeah, Peloton reckless. comes out with a game? That's somewhere. so awesome. Yeah. That makes you go buy a Peloton bike because you're like, wow, I don't want to miss out on this. Yeah. They're, they're subscribers because... It's flatlined, and I don't know where this come from. I have no idea. Some one of you guys may have posted it. Someone in chat, someone else's stream. But the users at 2020 have basically flatlined. Oh right. Till now, yeah, they're not losing. Later. Yeah, people are in because it's it's yeah. becoming. I like so, it because it looks like it's on the bike, off the bike, which is also rowing, and they have rowing, and yeah. I believe they have a uh, treadmill. Then they also they have, have the yoga, treadmill, the rowing, strength training, then, mental like, training calisthenics jump rope i don't know what they have a tons of stuff so they have a bunch of features it's like i'm into that i used to be against workout and structure but now i'm into it so all right we're gonna we're gonna wait a week on that and we're gonna get into maybe yeah. some peloton research uh so good show guys play the music yeah. we'll get out of here thanks everybody have a good day yeah thank you everyone